All right, hello everyone. It is me, Elder Reyes, your real estate technology coach. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's healthy and safe. Um, like I always say when I start these videos, um, obviously if you don't have your health, you don't have anything at all. And I know with what's going on right now with a lot of the, the, the protests and the riots and obviously the coronavirus, um, you know, there's there's definitely a lot of crazy things going on out there. So first and foremost, you know, I do hope all you guys are safe, all you guys are healthy, and all your family members are safe and healthy as well. Um, but having said that, I'm super excited about today's video. Um, if you guys have been watching all my other videos, what I've pretty much been doing is I've, I've asked you guys to go ahead and send me questions, right? Send me questions of things you're having issues with, whether it's your website or your CRM um, or, you know, social media or YouTube or, or just anything in regards to real estate digital marketing, right? Before I get into, into my video, just some quick, quick facts about myself and, and, you know, honestly, why you should be listening, right? And continue to watch my videos. Um, I've been doing real estate digital marketing for the past 15 years, right? Over the past 15 years, you know, I've worked for companies like Zillow and Wailopo and iHouse Web and Luxury Presence and um, Z57. Um, I've, I've worked over the last 15 years with over 3,500 real estate agents and brokers specifically on their websites and CRM and social media and SEO and just, you know, helping them not only pick the platform, but managing the platform for them. So when it comes to this real estate, real estate technology, real estate digital marketing space, I don't know too many people who, who's first and foremost done it as long as I have, right, obviously, and then pretty much has, has had access to all the different platforms because aside of working at those companies that I just mentioned, there's a couple more that I've worked at as well. Um, I also have clients that are using pretty much everything under the sun, right? So I have clients on Boomtown and Commission Zinc and um, Brivity, you know, and uh, what's the Sierra Interactive and Chime and Firepoint and, and all those platforms that you're, that you're looking at, that you're considering. I either have somebody that's using it or I've had the opportunity to, to mess around with it or tinker around with it, right? So if you have questions, please send them in. Um, I will answer them like, like I always show everybody, I got this little uh, little pad of paper here where I write down all your questions and then um, I do these videos to answer them because when I started RE Tech Coach, my what I really wanted to do is actually provide value to all you realtors and brokers out there when it comes to like the real estate technology, digital marketing space. So um, definitely keep sending them in um, and, I, and I will keep answering them. Um, the, the videos seem to do, be doing well and just thank you for all your support, all the interaction, all the feedback, all the engagement. Um, every time I do one of these videos, I usually get about seven to 10 realtors or brokers that reach out to me for my services. So thank you for that as well. And a lot of those guys tell me, my, my buddy sent me your video or, or, you know, a friend of mine sent me your video. So um, I do appreciate all that. But okay, having said that, what I wanted to talk about today was, so I had this question kind of sent to me in, in you know, in different forms, right? There different variations of the question. But basically what the question was, was, Elder, you're always talking about video, right? You're really big on video. Um, can you give me some tips or some strategies or just some, some good pointers when it comes to doing videos, right? For, you know, for their real estate business, right? And I've actually had this question sent to me a couple different ways and a couple different forms. And so let me just start off by saying, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you guys know that I'm very big on video, right? Um, and specifically, I mean, YouTube, right? Obviously, you know, videos on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram are awesome. Um, and those definitely, you know, build your brand and generate engagement and, you know, you know, provide social proof to everybody, you know, in your network. Um, but I don't care really where you do video as long as you're doing them consistently, right? That's what I always tell people, right? I, um, when it comes to video, um, and I'll be covering this here in a couple couple seconds, is I think too many times people give up on video too early, right? Like if you guys um, have heard of Gary V, if you guys watched any of my videos, you guys know I'm a big fan of Gary V. And one of the things that I'll never forget that, that, um, that he said in one of his marketing videos was something to the effect of, I love people that do one video or 10 videos and then say, oh, videos suck. 
or I love people that do one ad on Facebook and go Facebook sucks, right? And the reality of it is, it's not that YouTube sucks. It's not that Facebook videos, live videos suck or Instagram videos suck. It's, let's be frank with it, you suck, right? Because we all know that videos right now from an engagement standpoint um, are at an all time high. They get viewed way more. They get clicked on way more than, than any other type type of, of, of communication or platform that you can do on the internet, right? Um, and that's why Google obviously purchased YouTube, right? Um, because they, they kind of saw this, this, this coming about, right? This whole movement towards video. Is content still important? Yes, absolutely, right? And, and you can ask all my clients, I'm, I'm big on blogging and, and stuff like that, but you have to do video if you want to be in real estate today. I, I always tell people that, right? If you're going to be marketing in, you know, if, if you're gonna be marketing, right? If you're gonna be a real estate agent that markets because obviously you wanna, you wanna get clients, you have to do video. Um, and so a couple of pointers I will give you when it comes to video is first and foremost, guys, just start them, just do them, right? So many times when it comes to video, one of the biggest, the biggest issues I see with realtors and brokers is they're so worried about like what they're going to look like, or is the lighting okay? Or, or how does my face look? Or do I have the right angle? Or did I pick the right filter? Guys, just start shooting videos. Obviously, yes, you want to provide valuable content, right? Yes, you want to provide entertaining content, right? Yes, you want to provide content that your client base is going to want to see, uh, or something they may be interested in. But guys, just start doing it, right? Like, like one of the biggest issues I have when I start working with the client is I always require them to do about three videos a week. And it's so hard to get them to do that. And I always just, I'm always just amazed because I'm like, aren't you guys like in front of people all the time? Like, aren't you guys talking to people all the time? Like I get it. Right. When, when, when you first open up that, that whether you're going to do your video on your phone or on your laptop, like I'm doing now. Right. And you look at yourself, you're probably thinking like, wow, I, didn't know I had a had a bald spot there, right? Or wow, I I didn't know, you know, my face looked like that or whatnot. But guys, just start shooting videos, guys. It's you guys just have to get into it, right? Like I I get it, it's a little uncomfortable, and I get it when all we're not all comfortable in front of the camera, but you just gotta start doing them. I promise it gets easier. I promise if you guys are giving good content that that you're, you know, your, your clients or your friends or your family or, or whoever you're trying to get in front of, whoever you're trying to help buy or sell or invest in real estate. If, if, if you know, if you're providing valuable information, they're going to see them, right? And when, when I do my videos, when I do my marketing, when I do my coaching with my clients, I always use me as an example, right? As you can see, I don't have a state of the art camera, right? I, I don't have like all these graphics in my, in my video, right? This is right here in my little office, right? As you can see, it's always the same sailboat picture in the back and then, you know, a banner of the Cubs. If you guys watch my stuff, you guys know I'm a big Cubs guy and I just do videos and I do them over and I, and I just keep, keep just sending out videos. But most importantly though, obviously they have content, but the main thing is I just keep doing them over and over and over. And the truth of the matter is, I already know some of you guys are going to like this video. Some of you guys are going to say, oh, you know, he makes it sound so easy. You know, shooting videos is not easy. Yes, it is, right? We all have a smartphone, right? Unless, unless you're that one realtor. And if you are, get a smartphone, right? We all have a smartphone that has a capability that has a capability that allows you guys to shoot videos. So just go ahead and just start shooting videos, guys. I promise you, right? your first videos are probably not going to be that good. If you go back on this channel, you see my first couple of videos. Um, they weren't that good, right? As far as content, I fumbled quite a bit. I still fumble quite a bit. Sometimes I do lose my train of thought. Sometimes I, I, I do ramble on a little bit longer than I probably should, right? But at the end of the day, what I want my videos to do is to provide value for you folks. Why? So you guys reach out to me, obviously, and, and ask me about my services or hire me to to, to manage your, 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 your real estate digital marketing presence, right? So um, yeah, the first and foremost, what I would tell a realtor or broker that's, that's kind of asking about a video is just start doing them, right? As far as how many videos you should do, I tell everyone I would do three videos a week, right? I would do two 
really short videos, no longer than three minutes. And then I would do like a longer video, right? And then when it comes to video content, for you guys, it's easy, right? Do, do videos about, you know, maybe on, on a Friday, do a video about all the open houses that are scheduled, right? On Monday, maybe do a market report video, right? On, on a Wednesday, maybe do a, a video on, you know, what are, what are some good things to do to your kitchen or your bathroom or, or what not to do to those things, or to, those, to those rooms, right? If you're trying to sell your property or, or, you know, maybe do a video on, you know, some of the homes that just got reduced in the market, right? Or just, but this, there's so much content out there. Um, one of the things that, that's very, very popular right now is do a video um, teaching people how to actually navigate your website, right? Because the mistake a lot of folks make when they, whether it's realtors or brokers or just pretty much any type of business is that you think your clients already know what you know, right? So what I mean by that is, and I, once again, I use me as an example. Um, before I kind of started my company, I always just assumed you guys knew what IDX was and why it was so important to have it integrated. I always just assumed that that you guys knew that that having a frame having framed in links on your homepage killed your SEO. I always just assumed that you guys knew that it that those little sub pages that your broker gives you guys are crap and it's not really going to work out for you, right? I always assumed you guys do and knew that. And I remember when when you know I would talk to realtors and brokers and I kind of would go over my plan, right? When I would go over, you know, what I recommend in terms of their websites and social media and and videos and, and blogging and stuff, I they would always go, they would always just be so amazed at how much I knew. And, and I would start to myself, well, I guess not everybody knows what I know, right? Guys, it's the same thing with you guys. Um, your, 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 your common people out there that are out there working and, and you know, they have, a, they have another job other than real estate. Yes, buyers and sellers are smarter than ever before, right? Because of the internet, because of what's out there, because of all the platforms that are afforded to them. However, they don't know everything that you know. They don't know everything about the market. They don't know everything about the, the interest rates or, or, or they don't know about all the homes that are getting reduced. They don't know about all the homes that are coming on the market right? They don't know why they should do this to their kitchen or why they shouldn't do that to their kitchen. They don't know, you know, what, 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 what you do to market properties, right? They don't know what really sets you apart from all these other agents. So th those are all, um, those are all just kind of ideas or bits of information that you can do videos for, right? Like, like why should they do business for you, right? Or, or why is this track of homes that's going up going to be going so fast, right? Maybe it's a school district. Maybe there's, there's, you know, restaurants going to be popping up, but, but like, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, people, people are always, always, always thinking like, well, I don't want to do a video on that. Everyone knows that. No, they don't guys, because you guys are the real estate experts, right? You guys know your market. You guys are, you guys are on the MLS all day, looking at the hot sheets, looking at all the, all the homes that just come on the market, all the homes that are getting reduced, all the homes that are going to have open houses this weekend, right? You guys know all that stuff. Your buyers and sellers don't know all that. So you can do videos like that to educate them, right? So, um, like I said, a couple of, a couple of just quick ideas for videos that a lot of my clients are doing right now that are having really good success with is number one is they're doing a video that kind of just walks them through their website, right? It's kind of like as soon as as soon as they get a lead, right? The first thing they do is they send them a video and it says, you know, I'll, I'll do an example. Hi, this is Elder Reyes and you you um you know you you went to my website, you know, BigDaddyRealEstate.com. Um, let me let me give you some tips on on how to navigate through my website and how to get the you know the, the best use out of it so you can get all the information that you need when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in real estate in Los Angeles, California. So the first thing I want you to do is go to my homepage and then obviously you would share your screen, go to your homepage and stuff like that. But videos like that are awesome, right? Because first of all, you're thanking them for coming to your website, right? And logging in and putting their contact information in there. And then now you're doing a video just kind of showing them how to navigate through your website because once again they've probably never been to your website before right so give them some instructions tell them where to go tell them tell them where they can see you know all the homes for sale in the market tell them how they can go ahead and put a specific type of search in tell them where they can put their address in to find out what their property may be worth tell them how they can show them how they can 
take take your website and, and, and showcase it on Facebook or or send it to their friends that may be looking to buy a property, right? You can do videos on all that stuff and people love that, right? Because because you're showing them something, you're teaching them something, you're helping them something. And just because you know your website better than anybody else on the planet, I guarantee you somebody that just came to your website does not know that, right? They don't know all the pages. They don't know where your bio is. They don't know where all your, you know, like I know a lot of realtors that I work with put all the properties they've sold on a page which is an amazing idea. Um, Dave, show them that, right? If, if, if you're one of those guys that you've been doing real estate for 10 years and you got that list of properties that you've sold, show them how to get to that, right? So that's always a really good video. Another good video that a lot of my clients are doing as far as, um, you know, for kind of just their branding and kind of, you know, um, really, really, you know, owning their farm are, you know, you know, you're from, you know, you know, city state if. So for example, like, you know, you know you're from Los Angeles if you know you're a Laker fan. Or you know you're from La Los Angeles if you you know if you used to go play at this park. You know you're from Los Angeles. So like you know you're from this town if. You know you're from this city if. You know you're from this county if, right? Those kind of videos show that what? That you're part of the community, that you grew up in the area. Obviously, to do those type of videos, you have to be from that area. But those videos are awesome. I have a lot of my clients doing those. That you know you're from this city if. You know you're from this town if. Um, you know you know you're you were you were raised in, in in this county if you know you were raised in in this city and you know Los Angeles if all those different little variations you could do videos about and people absolutely love them right and 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 they and they provide they provide value because you're entertaining them right and you're probably just jogging some pretty good little childhood memories right but most importantly they're gonna remember you right so those are just a couple of ideas for video topics. Now, the second thing I wanted to bring up when it comes to videos are the two things that you have to do on your videos, right? I'm gonna tell you right now. Number one is gain their trust. And then number two is they have to be entertaining, right? And how do you gain people's trust when it comes to your video, right? Because you really only have a couple of minutes to really gain their trust. You really only have sometimes just that one video to really gain their trust. And I can tell you right now, the best way to gain trust on video is by showing them or teaching them something they don't know. Why do you guys think that I do all these videos on websites, on CRMs, on search engine optimization, on, on how to you know post on Instagram from your desktop, on, on how to do you know, on why it's important to have, you know, an integrated IDX, right? On, on why, you know, it's important during the coronavirus when everybody was on lockdown, why was it important to go really big on your posting? Why do you think I do all that, right? Because I want you guys to watch my videos. I want you guys to start trusting me, what? As a real estate digital marketing consultant. So if you guys want to be, want, want your clients or your, your, whoever you're trying to, to, to get to go to your site or to sell properties to, to really trust you as the real estate expert in your market, teach them something, tell them something, show them something that they don't know. Right. Like, like tell them, you know, just, but, you know, you, you guys know what you know and they don't So just teach them something. That's why, why do you think I'm doing this whole, you know, Q and a video series, right? And why do you think it's doing so well is because I'm teaching you guys something, right? I'm, I'm showing you guys something you guys don't know, or obviously not doing right. So yes, showing, teaching somebody something, showing somebody something they don't know is the fastest way to gain trust with your videos. And then the second thing you guys have to do is you guys have to be entertaining, right? Like, like if you're going to sit there and just kind of go, well, you know, this home just came on the market. Um, it was priced at so-and-so, but it just recently dropped $10,000. I can't believe it. Man, you know, it ain't, no one's going to finish watching that video, right? That's why, once again, if you notice with me, I use a lot of you know, my voice goes up, my voice goes down, right? I do a lot of stuff with my hands, right? I, when I, you know, when, when the time's appropriate or, or the video calls for it, I share my screen, right? And on some of my other videos, you saw that I was, you know, kind of poking fun at a couple of people, but it's all in good nature. But um, yeah, you got to be entertaining, right? So I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I have a lot of clients that dress up in their videos, right? I have a lot of clients that show themselves walking around, 
walking around the house and if they slip or fall they just they just keep going right and and so that if, if you guys if you guys watch videos right which are the videos that get the most views which are the videos that go viral is it the video that's staged properly or is it the video that that has all the little bells and whistles in the background and, and everything's popping up and stuff like that and it looks like a, a freaking commercial do those do very well they do okay but what are the ones that go viral are the ones where it's like you know a kid you know playing with his dad and he accidentally you know throws a ball and it hits him in a inappropriate area right or or like or like you know somebody's walking through a through a park and they accidentally slip and fall and they get up busting up cracking up laughing right why because that stuff's entertaining right so you got to entertain your clients guys so my second tip for you guys obviously the first one is just do it just start doing videos the second one is whatever content you're posting it has to have these two things number one is it has to build trust and the fastest way to build trust is to teach people something they don't know show people something they didn't know right and the other way and the other thing you must do is the videos have to be entertaining right you have to make them laugh make them chuckle right like keep keep them engaged and the easiest way to keep people engaged is by showing them something they don't know and then obviously making it entertaining right um if, if you do those things your videos are going to get tons of views right and then the last thing I really wanted to talk about today, guys, was market your videos. I have so many agents, right, that'll shoot, that'll, that'll shoot their videos, right, or make their videos. And then what do they do? They throw it on their Facebook one time. They might throw it on their LinkedIn one time. And they might throw it on their YouTube, and then that's it, right? And, and I just don't understand that. I mean, you guys took the time to make this video. Market it, right? And what are some easy ways to market your video? Number one, throw it on social media, right? If you guys are my, if you guys are on my Facebook business page, which is facebook.com forward slash RE Tech Coach, you'll notice what do I always do with my videos? I always upload them to Facebook so they're on Facebook. And then I always take my YouTube link and I throw it on my Facebook business page as well. Then what do I do? I share my video through all my stories. I share my video on Instagram. I share my video on LinkedIn. And then I also share my video on Twitter. And then what do I always do? And then I do an email blast of all my videos, right? So, and do I do one email blast? No, I do email blasts all throughout the week of my video, right? Because why? Because I know that just like, just like your buyers and sellers, right? Everyone's not going to open up my email the very first time. They got to see it over and over and over. Maybe sometimes people start watching my video and they're like, okay, you know, I'll get back to that. So I'll just keep marketing it to them, right? So that way they keep watching and they keep watching and they keep watching it. The other day, I actually got a lead. Um, it was a real estate agent in the Bay Area. Amazing realtor. Um, has been doing this for 20 years. Very knowledgeable in technology. Um, we chatted for quite a while. Um, you know, she's she's one of those realtors that I'm sure like a lot of you people have had every single website, every single product in under the sun, right? So I mean, every website, every CRM, every lead gen system, she's had everything you can possibly name. And I remember once again, and this is why I always tell you guys, keep marketing, marketing, marketing is, um, I always ask everyone, how'd you find me? Or, you know, how'd you, how'd you come in contact with me? And she was like, elder, I've seen a lot of your emails. I've seen some of your stuff on Facebook and LinkedIn. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. She goes, then the other day, I got an email from you. I watched it. That's, a, that's the reason why I'm reaching out. And, I'm, and I asked her, I said, well, how long have you been, have you been watching my video? She was like four months, right? So, I'm, so guys, if, if I would have just done my video and, and did one email, if I would have done my video and done one Facebook post, if I would have done my video and just showed it on LinkedIn, I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have ran into that amazing realtor who I'm going to end up, you know, working with, right? Well, I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up helping her with her digital marketing and obviously it's going to benefit me because she's using my services, right? So that goes to show you that, that, that just because you do a video and then you throw it on YouTube, you're not done right? Market it. Like you, you guys created this video. Be proud of it. Throw it all over Facebook and throw it on your Facebook page two, three, four, five times. Throw it on your LinkedIn two, three, four, five times. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram. Email it to everybody, right? Be proud of your work. Be proud of what you know. Guys, like I said, I always use myself as an example. I'm proud of everything that I know. I, I love the fact when I get a, 
a real estate agent that calls me. They're like, man, Elder, I've been watching your videos for three or four or five or six months now. Man, I, I love your content. It's awesome. Hey, you know, can we talk about, I love hearing that and you guys will love it too, but you got to give yourself an opportunity for that to happen, right? Let me, let me kind of relate it back to you guys. You guys know that, you know, obviously to generate leads, you know, or to generate contacts or whatever you prospects, whatever you want to call them. One of the, one of the best, you know, one of the good ways to do it, obviously pre COVID or pre pandemic and all this stuff was open houses, right? Like I know a lot of my Keller Williams people do the, what's it, the, the 30 open houses in 30 days or the 60 open houses in 60 days. Right. And they generate tons and tons of leads and, and clients and stuff like that. Right. But I always, and it's funny, like I always tell people, what if they just would have did one open house? What if you, when you go door knocking, go knock on one door? What if when you call expires or, or you know, for sale by owners, what if you just call one, ex, you know, for sale by owner? What if you just call one expired? How's that going to work out for you? It's probably not going to work out very, very well, right? Because you just haven't done enough of it, right? So it's the same thing with these videos, with your digital marketing, with your posting, with this whole digital marketing world, right? Is you can't just do one video and throw it on one platform and think everyone's going to see it, right? Um, like I, I, I referenced Gary Vee on, on this so much because I was actually watching another video of his when I was or listening, I'm not, not watching. I was listening to a video of his when I was driving around and it, he was doing one of those Q and a sessions. And he said, you know how I know I'll always be on top. He was like, cause 99% of you guys are going to send one message on LinkedIn and say, man, LinkedIn sucks. Right. Cause I sent that one message guys. I'm going to tell you this right now. The reason why you guys are not getting the results you want from your videos is because you guys are doing one video, posting it on one platform, one time a week, and then you're going, oh my God, it, it, it sucks. It's it, um, Elder's wrong. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Where I'm telling you, all my leads, right, or not all of my leads, but the majority of my leads that I get are from my videos, right? Just like I always tell you guys about when it comes to your website, the really cool thing about your website is that the CRMs nowadays nurture your leads. My videos are my, my, my kind of lead nurturing tool, right? Because here's what happens. Somebody today is just going to watch this video for the first time and they're going to go, okay, Elder knows what he's talking about a little bit. He's been doing this a while. Yeah. You know, I've, I'll, I'll see what else he does. And then every time I do a video, they're going to keep watching them and keep watching them. Then they're going to go to my Facebook business page. Then they might connect with me on LinkedIn. Then they might follow me on Instagram, right? Then they might, you know, connect with me on Twitter. And then they're going to see more of my content, more of my content to eventually, just like that realtor I talked to the other day, she's going to reach out to me and, and just like, just like, a realtor today who watches this video for the first time, two, three, or maybe, I don't know, tomorrow is going to reach out to me and say, Elder, I've been watching your videos. I've been watching your content. Can we talk about your services, guys? It's the same thing that will happen to you. You cannot do one video, post it on one platform, and think it's just going to all of a sudden start generating leads like crazy, right? Like, I know – a lot of folks nowadays, with what's going on with this digital marketing and a lot of these marketing coaches, marketing gurus are talking about branding, right? Building your brand, right? Because when it comes down to it, it's all going to be about your brand. Videos are a great way to do that because you guys can sit here, start a video and talk about your services, talk about what you do, talk about what separates you, but you have to do it consistently, right? I don't care what you do, right? I don't care how, how you're generating your leads. If you do one post, one pay-per-click ad, one ad on Facebook, one ad on Instagram, just one message. If you just do one of anything, unless you're that one special individual, you're, it's not going to work. And that's what's going to happen today. 99% of you guys are going to watch this video. You're going to get super motivated. You're going to go home, or I'm sorry, you're going you're gonna to pop open your phone and, and shoot a quick video, and then you're not going to like it. So you're going to shoot another video, and then you might get crazy enough and post it up to YouTube, right? Then you're going to post it on YouTube, and you might throw it on one platform that, that, that you, know, you have a couple of friends, right? And then that's it. And then you're going to go, wow, I only got one view, right? This thing sucks. Guys, when I started doing this channel, I wasn't getting – you know, hundreds of views or thousands of views like I'm getting now? Absolutely not. I was getting 15, 20, 20, 25 views, but I stayed with it, right? I keep doing them over and over and over because I believe in my skill set. I believe in my knowledge base. I believe that I can help you real estate agents and brokers, right? So the question I want you guys to ask yourself as I'm ending my video is, do you guys believe in your services? Do you guys believe that you're the number one 
real estate agent in your market or have the skill set to. Maybe your numbers don't showcase that right now, but you have the skill set, right? You have the work ethic. You're, you're, you're increasing your knowledge base about the market. You're increasing your knowledge base about real estate, the actual real estate industry, the real estate business, right? You're, you're, you're increasing your, your knowledge on how to make the home buying experience even better for the client. If you feel you're that guy, put it on video and let everybody see it, right? That's my challenge to you. If you know you're that person, which you guys all have the ability to do that, right? Go ahead and start shooting these videos and believe in yourself and get them out to everybody. I promise you, it may not happen overnight, but it will happen. Quick story, then I'm gonna end the video. If you guys remember, if you guys have seen any of my videos, um, but when this whole coronavirus thing started, I told everybody, do a video every day, right? Post things every day. Go crazy with your content. Everybody's at home. True story. Um, I had a young realtor in Miami reach out to me. Um, budget was not very good, right? But I had told another story on on, on, on one of my one of my videos about how I helped out this realtor in the Miami Hollywood area a long time ago when I was at a company he couldn't afford the, the platform I was selling at the time and so he just did videos for a year and now the guy just crushes it on YouTube right he generates tons of leads on YouTube and, and is doing super well so the young realtor reached out to me it was probably like I think right when we went on lockdown here in California right it was like I remember I did the video on I'm being super active on just going crazy with your content, going crazy with your post, right? And just taking it to another level. Well, he reached out to me and he said, Elder, you know, I love your videos. Can you give me some advice? So I pointed him in the direction. I was, unfortunately, he's a newer agent, so he didn't have the budget. He didn't have the, you know, the, the financial means to go and buy like a, like a chime or a, or a conversion or a Boomtown or anything like that. So he ended up getting, you know, I believe he ended up getting an iHouse web website, right? Which I think those are like 99 bucks and they're nice looking sites. But then what he did is he did two videos a day. He did two videos a day for two months. That's what he's done. The guy reached out to me in 60 days. He's actually picked up three clients all from YouTube. And what did he say he does? He does elder. He goes, I do two videos a day on new listings on the market, on market updates, on properties that just get reduced, on um, you know, on 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 videos on on why they should buy in this area, videos on what they should. He was like, and he goes, what the reason why he says he likes doing them is because to do the videos, what does he have to do to push out that content? He has to do research, right? So he has to go out there and learn about the market. He has to learn about these areas. He has to learn about, you know, why it's it's not a good idea to do this or why it's a good idea to do this. And he has to obviously in, in, increase his knowledge base, right, about real estate as a whole to keep pushing out these videos. Three clients, guys, in 60 days, all from YouTube, brand new agent, right? A lot of you guys have, who are watching this video right now have been doing real estate forever and have never generated a transaction from the internet, right? I get calls from people all the time that tell me, Elder, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this, I've done that, and I've never generated one transaction from the internet. Guys, I, ha I have a guy, brand new realtor, all he did was do two videos a day for 60 days, and he's working with three clients. Is it a transaction? No. I don't wanna be honest about that. So no, it's, he hasn't closed the deals, right? He hasn't gotten paid. But how many of you people can, how many of you guys can say over the last 60 days, you've generated three clients from YouTube, right? Probably none of you guys, right? Because why? Because you guys are all doing your one video, throwing it on, on one platform and praying that it works. Come on. I hope this is it guys. That's not going to be enough. Okay. So let's get back on point. So just to kind of go over and just kind of, you know, the three main points that I wanted to cover today when it comes some tips for videos or tips for making videos or pointers on videos is number one, just start doing them guys. Stop being scared. No one's going to look at you funny. You're going to suck at videos at first, but I promise you the more you do them, the better you're going to get, right? That's number one. Just start doing them and do a lot of them. Number two, the two things that you must do on your videos, if you want them to be effective, if you actually want them to generate leads, are going to be you have to gain people's trust and they have to be entertaining. How do you gain somebody's trust? By showing them something, educating them something, um, teaching them something that they don't know. And you guys all have more than enough um, you know, more than enough um, knowledge or, or ideas that you guys can actually do, right? You guys can 
tell people about the market, homes, what's good to do, what's not good to do, you know, what they should look for when they're when they're when they're looking for a realtor, all that stuff, right? Teach them something, educate them, educate them, showing something new, right? That's how you gain their trust. And then be entertaining, guys. Like laugh on your videos, right? Uh, you know, ask questions on the videos, right? Like like make little comments about the little boat in the back of the, of the video, like I do, right? Like like be entertaining, be yourself, social social personality, right? Make these people want to talk to you. One one of the biggest compliments. I ever get is elder I love your videos man you crack me up I love that I love that I love that because I know you guys are getting value even though you may not agree with what I'm saying at least you guys are cracking a smile right so obviously be entertaining and then the third thing is once you guys do these videos market them don't just throw them on your Facebook page one time throw them on your Facebook page 10 times don't just throw them on LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram and think I'm done no throw them on there every single day for a week right? Blast them out to, to, to your database, right? Right. Make people watch them because you're providing valuable information. You're providing amazing information. Why is it that whenever I shoot a video, I, I set it up to where I do an email blast. And then a couple of days later, I do an, I do an email blast to everybody that didn't open it. Why? Because I'm proud of my work because I know I can really help all you guys, right? I know I can really help you guys generate more business, generate transactions. You guys should feel the same way about your, your videos that you guys are pushing out, right? So having said all of that, I know I threw a lot of information at you. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, if you guys have more questions about videos or websites or CRMs or, or social media or just, you know, um, blogging or anything at all, please, please reach out to me. Um, my email address is elderareyes at gmail.com, elderareyes at gmail.com. My cell phone number is 530-760-7827. And then my Facebook business page is facebook.com forward slash re tech coach facebook.com forward slash re tech coach before you leave please subscribe to my channel please leave some comments and once again from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for all the support thank you so much for all the engagement thank you all so much who who referred me to your other buddies and and always it's always in different markets but hey i'll take it right thank you for everything thank you for all the support um i really really appreciate it okay but please leave some comments subscribe to my channel you know, reach out to me, whether it's a DM on Facebook or text me or call me or email me. And then keep sending these questions in, guys. Keep keep letting me know what I can do to help you guys out with. And I'll keep doing these videos uh, because um, from, from the feedback I'm getting, everyone's loving them. Um, and just, you know, thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys are, hope you guys found this video super helpful. Um, and just, guys, just start doing your videos. Be gay people's trust, be entertaining, and then obviously market the crap out of them. I want to see you guys' videos all over the internet, right? Send me your videos. Do a video and send it to me. Go, Elder, what do you think, right? And then I'll throw it all over my platforms too, but do your videos and throw them all over the place, guys, all right? So thank you so much. Until next time, you know, keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I am Elder Reyes. I am your real estate technology coach. Thank you so much for watching my video. Goodbye.